Here's a pair of the AirPods 4. I'm gonna show you how to pair and connect these directly to a Roku TV via Bluetooth. First thing is go to the settings on your Roku TV. You can click on the home button, go to the home page, and then slide down or scroll down to settings. Select OK on the remotes. Go down one to remotes and devices right there. Select OK on the remotes. Now, you see I have wireless headphones there. If you do not see wireless headphones there, then you do not have built-in Bluetooth on your Roku TV. A workaround for you would be to simply just pair and connect these directly to the Roku app on your phone and you can set up Bluetooth that way, okay? However, for this video here, if you do have built-in Bluetooth wireless headphones there, we're gonna proceed. Go down to wireless headphones right there. Okay on the remote. Now we need to, you can see all my other paired headphones and earbuds and speakers, but we have to go all the way down to where you see add new wireless headphones, but don't click on that yet. So we're just gonna go and leave it there first. Now we're gonna go ahead and put these into pairing mode. You'll notice in pairing mode when this light here is blinking white, okay? The AirPods 4 doesn't have a button back here like all the previous AirPods. So to put this in pairing mode, first we're gonna open it up. If you get a white blinking light, great, you're in pairing mode. If not, there's an invisible button right around there. You tap it twice, now it's blinking white. Now it's in pairing mode. I'm gonna leave it just like this and I'm gonna go and add new wireless headphones. It's searching for it, it's in pairing mode. Now we're just gonna wait for the countdown to run down to zero seconds. So be patient here now. Three, two, one, and yes, AirPods right there. So go ahead and make sure it's highlighted. Click on OK on the remote. It says connecting, it says you're done. And now we see the AirPods with the check mark is connected. Now, if you guys had any kind of issues pairing or connecting these, you can always factory reset these. If you need to do that, look in the link below in the description area.